What's going on my PT peeps and my Walking Dead family? Welcome to the PT channel. I'm one Eye Bry, back to talk about Fear the Walking Dead Season 4, Episode 13, titled Blackjack. Spoiler warning, obviously if you haven't seen the episode, we're going to talk about it, discuss it, review it, all that good stuff. And if you don't want to know what we're talking about, stop watching now. Spoiler warning. Now, episode 413 was titled Blackjack, and it's the candy that John has, and it was okay. It was a decent episode. I'll talk about that and much more, but first, if you love The Walking Dead, fear The Walking Dead, and The Walking Dead universe, become a valued member of our Walking Dead family here at the PT channel. Just hit that subscribe button, and I hope you do. Photo credits, obviously, to AMC and Fear The Walking Dead. Now, it was an episode that kind of set the way for the last three episodes. We finally saw where Luciana was. We saw Wendell, Sarah, Jimbo. What do you think of it, guys? And nothing really happened in this episode, but everything kind of happened. We saw the crazy lady. I don't know her name. I don't even care to know her name because it doesn't really matter. But the thing that was kind of funny was Wendell, Sarah, June, Morgan, Jimbo, and Althea basically stood around in the street didn't really do much, and we're like, hey, what are we gonna do? Hey, let's get on the road again, and let's keep putting these boxes down. We finally saw where Charlie was and Alicia, a very minor part of the episode, which hopefully we'll see them again, but Wendell in the wheelchair strikes me as an interesting character. How could he survive by himself in the zombie apocalypse? He couldn't. He has his twin sister, which is kind of funny. What was funny is that the walker was coming behind him, and he waited to put the spikes out behind him in the wheelchair, like the walker would go around it, that's like, oh wait, I can't do it too soon. And then it came out and then they have their little point system. What are they, what's the goal of that? Are you gonna win a prize by killing zombies with it? They are comic relief. Not sure if they're all gonna make it, but they are bringing something to the table, which can't be said about much of the characters that they bring on there. They bring in more characters in and then kill them off in the same episode. But we finally saw some connection going forward. I think we saw the truck driver, Clayton with Luciana, but it was not clear. Stuff is kind of confusing in this show because they don't highlight things enough or explain things enough. We have to guess, we have to watch other shows, we have to see what they tell us behind the scenes and on Talking Dead. Jimbo is pretty useless. Why is this character around? Is he the Tara of Fear the Walking Dead? But we'll see what happens. I mean, you gotta have beer in the zombie apocalypse, right? Beer is gonna dehydrate you, by the way. That's not a good thing to have all the time, but I know people got a party in a zombie apocalypse and they have to drown their sorrows away. So a beer maker is pretty important, but that's what we have on the show. We got a beer maker, a guy in a wheelchair, a truck driver, Morgan, who's all over the place. You got June, who is okay. Althea is just getting more annoying. I kind of want to like the character, but why didn't you lock up the truck? Why are you not locking up your van or the MRAP or whatever you want to call it? And really, there's not a lead character besides Morgan, who wants to go back home. Nothing to do with these people here. But June, is she some character that's going to be connected with John? Is their whole story going to be they're together, they're apart, they're together, they're apart? Is it going to happen? Are we going to go back to the cabin? What's going to happen with that? Now, to me, I see Morgan clearly being the lead of the show, which is kind of crazy that he just came to the show this season. But Alicia is the oldest character of the series, along with Strand, and they're really not in it that much. Althea is getting more and more annoying, like I said before. It's just something about her. It's just she's all about, I have to record this person. That's her whole life. Luciana is important to the show for what reason? Not sure. She was better this episode. I'll give her that. She was more like season two Luciana, which we need to have. We just don't want to have you on the show. You have to bring something to the show. And I like her interaction with Clayton a little bit, even though they bring a character in just to kill him off in the same episode. Luciana's probably looking for purpose, just like June, just like Alicia, and we're looking for purpose too. Why are we watching the show? No, I can understand why people like the show, but it's just frustrating to me where they're not actually doing anything. And I thought it was cheesy that she went to the library with the book that Charlie had. Enough with the book, enough with the Charlie stuff. That's just annoying. They were in a mansion with wine and security and land. They could have done a better job with that, and that's gone. This show is all about being in one area for a little period of time, and then something happens and they leave it. Like the boat, like the plantation, like the ranch. Where are they going to go next? Not sure. But like I said, Luciana was better this episode. I just wish she would get her act together. And it's got to be tough for the character because she lost Nick to Charlie. She's looking for Charlie. 
Will she find Charlie and Alicia? I would think so. I would think they meet up next episode because we only have three episodes left. But Luciana needs to have a major storyline change. Hopefully it's something big time like Alicia and her working together. Maybe Walker comes around. Maybe Daniel comes around. I'm not sure what needs to happen. But Luciana, this was a step in the right direction for this character to come back around. It was a nice setup episode. I just wish a little more happened. Her and Clayton was kind of cool. I saw the movie Lady Bird and this guy's in it. And we're like, oh, hey, it's a guy from Lady Bird. You know, but I believe this is the gentleman who was in the tractor trailer putting out the boxes. I believe that's what that whole thing was, that Luciana found him. He ended up dying. And it sucks that we don't see him confront Sarah and Wendell again. When I see this picture, I just see the phrase one from my homies. But I just feel the second half is like everybody was together. And then everybody left, and now they're going to get back together again towards the end of the episode, setting up season five, probably going back to Alexandria, who's going to make it, who's not. And what do you think? Luciana, Strand, John, Sarah, Wendell, June, Althea, Morgan, Jimbo, they all can't make it, right? You know Morgan's got to live, you know certain characters need to stick around, but we got a big cast here now. They're not really getting anywhere. They're going down the road and putting the mile markers and putting the boxes down and putting the boxes down and putting the boxes down. That's just boring to watch. June, I think, can bring something to the table, but I just think she's connected with John and their whole relationship of being together and then apart. Will it work? Will it not? I kind of hope they get to the cabin and they stay there and we don't see those characters ever again, but I kind of want John to go to Walking Dead if that's a possible transition. As for John and Strand, Let's talk about this whole thing. The whole crow thing and that noise with the crow and the crow and the crow. It was so annoying. Like we had to listen to that. It was just like, all right, enough of that. John couldn't shoot the crow with his sharpshooter skills. But John's idea of building a raft, I kind of like. But where are they? You can't just walk away from it. You can't walk up the hill. You can't walk somewhere. You have to go across this waterway. It just doesn't make sense to me. But I like them building a raft to get across the alligator, crocodile, whatever it was, was pretty cheesy and it broke their raft. It didn't bite it, it just rammed it. Would that happen? And then Strand going for the bottle of alcohol and he kept the walker alive, just dumb. Next week's episode, episode 414, is titled MM54 or MM54, but that's what the title is. Luciana, the crazy lady, we'll see what happens. Hopefully everybody gets together, but I'm just not sure where this season is going. This lady is just weird. She knows how to use the SWAT truck. She knows how to use this. She knows how to do that. And she has the SWAT truck, the MRAP, whatever you're calling it. How are the bullets being reloaded? Why was the SWAT truck not locked up? That's just stupid. If you have things in there that you want to keep, the truck is very important to you. Just lock it up and keep the keys on you, Althea. What are you doing? So we'll see what happens with this lady and the walkers and most likely Morgan because Morgan knows this lady from the radio and actually saw her. So there you go, guys. That's my review of episode 413 titled Blackjack. It was all right. It was a nice setup episode for the last three episodes. So we got three weeks of Fear the Walking Dead and then The Walking Dead will be back. Let me know your thoughts. Post your comments below. Like, share, subscribe and all that stuff. Hopefully Fear the Walking Dead steps it up with the final three episodes and we have a great season five and maybe a possible transition from Fear characters to The Walking Dead. Will it happen? Should it happen? Let me know. If you're new to the channel, guys, we have a lot of fun here. We talk about The Walking Dead, Fear the Walking Dead, and a lot of great topics. Please hit that subscribe button, become a valued member. And remember, guys, with hard work, dedication, belief, and sacrifice, you can truly achieve your goals. Believe in yourself. You can do it.